Courtney Watson and I'm standing behind uh, Uniform Killer Whiskey, which is our family tiger. It's been in the family for 45 years. Um, my father went solo on it in, in February 45 years ago this year. And um, basically we, we've just finished a trip. We came back on the 1st of May um, to Botswana. Um, it's something we've been talking about for years and years and we just thought we need to get off our backside and actually do something about it. So um, the other tiger moth, which is behind us, uh, BGN, um, belongs to Jeff Earl. He was one of the guys that went on in uh, 1996 when they did the last trip to Botswana. Um, we followed a similar route and we were quite lucky in that um, a number of overseas aircraft decided to come through from England. Um, so those were imported uh, by freight to um, Scottborough where they were assembled and then flown up to Joburg. And we had three tigers and one hornet moth from the UK and then another two tigers from, uh, from South Africa. We actually had six different nationalities. Um, we had someone from France, Holland, um, Botswana, Australia, South Africa, and um, someone from Belgium as well. So that was quite nice having an international group. And um, yeah, basically we took off from, um, from Krugersdorp where we did all of our pre-flight and, and that sort of thing. And then we flew to the Ranch Hotel, which was kind of our, our send off. Um, and then our first stop in Botswana was at Greta Lodge and we flew via um, Polokwane to Clear Customs, then Limpopo Valley and um, up through to, to Greta and flying along the salt pans was, it, it's, it was funny doing this flight because every day we just said you know it can't get much better than this and the next day it just did and it, it, it was unbelievable. Um, those salt plans were, were, it's just this expanse of white as far as you can see with absolutely nothing there so that was, that was really special. Um, and then we flew from there to Maun and then up to Sorongo, which is right in the panhandle of the Okavango Delta. Um, and the Delta was very full of water, so we didn't see too much game where we actually landed at Sorongo. But um, en route, it, it's, we saw heaps of, um, of buck and buffalo and, and elephant and that sort of thing. Um, again, just uh, it was an hour and a half flying from Maun to Sorongo, and it felt like about 10 minutes because it was just it was unbelievable. Um, from there we flew to Chobe, um, which is along the Caprivi Strip and then Kasani Airfield and we saw more elephant from the air than you could throw a stick at and the, and the nice thing about flying these uh, old aircraft is that you, you know, you, you're almost interacting with the environment around you which is quite nice and um, with GPS's and things we could fly it you know, below a thousand feet which made us, uh, we could see, see a lot more game and, and that was brilliant. Um, and then the highlight for the trip was we went and flew into Livingston and we flew over Victoria Falls. Um, we did a couple of formations. Uh, the most kind of successful one and the one with the most uh, photo ops was uh, with four aircraft, including um, our Tiger Moth, two of the, the overseas Tigers and, um, and one Hornet Moth um, in kind of a Southern Cross formation. And I mean, that's, you, you, you can't... You can't pay for that sort of stuff. It's, it's flying over the falls was definitely one of the one of the real highlights. Um, and again, we came back through um, to Kasani and back the way we came through Greta and, and into Polokwane and the ranch home. Um, in terms of problems, we actually had uh, seven de Havilland aircraft, so six Tiger Moths, one Hornet Moth, and then we had four support aircraft as well. And we had a guy on the ground who delivered fuel to us um, all over the place to these funny little strips. We only flew for two hours at a time um, and the Tigers have got an endurance for about two and a half hours so um, that was quite useful. But you know 70 year old aircraft and we had one puncher and um, that was just from a thorn and to get tyres changed in, in Joburg for, for a Tiger is an exercise in futility. Everyone just looks at it and says no we can't do that and we managed to find this little backward um, kind of fitment center in the middle of Greta where the guys had a converted cement mixer and um, they basically pulled some spanners out and, and pulled the wheel off, had the tire repaired in no time and it was brilliant. Um, yeah, I mean it was just a trip of a lifetime and hopefully there's uh, a lot of the guys who came across have said that they want to do something similar again. So we're looking at possibly doing another um, themed kind of de Havilland or, or Moth um, adventure through Namibia and, um, and Botswana in about three or four years time. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, this was really a dream come true for me. Um, particularly because it was my father, my brother and myself who were all flying. We had a Cessna 140 which we took along as well. And we shared all the flying together and you know, from a family experience it was quite special as well. Putting a book together and um, hopefully that's going to be published at around June. Um, it's going to be a coffee table book with a lot of the photographs, particularly over the swamps and the falls, but um, there's some very special stuff there, so hopefully look out for that.